Okay. Write a slope intercept equation for a line passing through the given point that is parallel to the given line. Then write a second equation for a line passing through the given point that is perpendicular to the given line. All right, the given line is 2x plus 9y equals 8, and the point is 6, negative 9. The instructions say to use integers or fractions. That means no decimals. So here we go with number 20. The point is 6, negative 9. And the equation, the given equation, is 2x plus 9y equals 8. Step 1 will be to use 2x plus 9y equals 8. Parallel lines have the same slope. So we're going to use the given line, find the slope of that line, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to solve for y and get it in slope-intercept form. So we'll have 9y equals negative 2x plus 8, and we will divide by 9 all three numbers separately. The slope of that is negative 2 ninths. So the slope of the line that we're looking for is going to be negative 2 ninths as well because we're looking for a line that's parallel to the given line and that goes through the given point 6, negative 9. Very important here that parallel lines have equal slopes because they have the same tilt. They travel side by side. There we go, kind of. Uh, yeah, it's about as good as I can do. They travel side by side, so it makes sense that they have the same slope. So now we're going to use the point-slope formula. That's traditional. You can always use y equals mx plus b if you prefer, but I like to use the point-slope formula. I substitute the appropriate coordinates in y1 and in x1. y minus negative 9 is going to be y plus 9. Meanwhile, let us not forget that the point is 6, negative 9. And when you subtract, you add. When you subtract a negative number, you add, which is how I got y plus 9. It's going to be negative 2 ninths times x minus 6. Just like before. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction slope. Now, I'll distribute on the left, 9y plus 81. I'll cancel on the right, and that will give me negative 2 times x minus 6. which will give me 9y plus 81 equals negative 2x plus 12. Remember, negative times negative is positive. So 9y equals negative 2x plus 12 minus 81. That means that 9y equals negative 2x minus 69. Now I'll divide by 9, divide by 9, divide by 9. 
so that y equals negative 2 ninths x minus 23 thirds. That's the equation of the line parallel to the given line going through the given point. Let's put that in the answer box. Negative 2 ninths. Right arrow, then x, minus 23 thirds. Check the answer. Ah, well done. All right. Now comes the second part of the question. We're going to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to 2x plus 9y equals 8. Again, no decimals in the slope, in the equation, which includes the slope. So now we come to the very unusual and difficult relationship between the slopes of lines that are perpendicular. The two slopes are called opposite reciprocals. That means they're reciprocals with opposite signs. So the slope of the given line, we already know, is negative 2 ninths. But now that's going to become the opposite reciprocal, which is positive 9 over 2. The slopes are reciprocals, and they're opposite signs. I use the point-slope formula. Again, you could always use y equals mx plus b. y minus negative 9 equals 9 halves, or 9 over 2, times x minus 6. So y plus 9 equals 9 over 2 times x minus 6. Now, to eliminate the fraction, multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Distribute on the left, and cancel on the right. So 2y plus 18 equals 9x minus 54. Subtract 18 from both sides. And we'll have 2y equals 9x minus 72. Divide by 2 all the way through, and you'll have y equals 9 over 2x minus 36. That's our perpendicular equation. Now, put that in the answer box carefully. Nine over two, right arrow, x.
minus 36. Check answer. Well done. I like it when it tells me I'm right.